Good afternoon. My name is Srinath Kurupati, co-founder and CEO of CyberFin. We provide real-time web and mobile security. Now, CyberFin is a fairly new startup. However, quietly, we have been working with some of the largest internet companies out there. We already protect over 100 million users across 50 countries. To understand the value of our solution, it's first good to talk about the problem space. We're first going to start by showing you some demos of how hackers break into accounts and commit fraud. Our first demonstration is a login API attack. Now, I'm sure some of you have heard about a login API attack, but today we'll show you how it's actually done. So this login page here actually interacts with the backend web API. To understand the API interactions, I'm going to use a tool which is publicly available called Wireshark which allows me to sniff all the network traffic. Let's turn this on. Now let me go back here and log in, and I'm going to use a random and incorrect login password. So this failed, but let's go back to Wireshark and let's see what we can find. So I'm gonna just increase the font so you can see things better here, but let's follow the, the TCP trail first. I'm going to get the packets which are posted, and then we'll follow the TCP trail. So here's what we see. And I'm going to go slowly here because the font is a bit small. So first of all, you clearly see the login page. But more importantly, what you see at the top is the login page was interacting with the following endpoint API, which is a login endpoint API for authorization. Furthermore, if you look carefully down, you'll see the username and password being submitted in the following fashion. We can test this now on the command line. So what we can do here is, and I'm going to highlight this, is directly hit the API, the endpoint, and pass in a username and password, and we can bypass the web page by doing this. Let's run this. So as you can see here, we were able to directly hit the API, and the API server responded saying it's an unauthorized username password. Here's what the hacker can do next. He can go to the dark web and fetch a username password list from one of the recent breaches. Let's take a look. So for example, a list like this, which has hundreds of thousands of username passwords. Now this list, this list has nothing to do with the web page I just showed. What the hacker is exploiting is the fact that users reuse usernames and passwords across the web. So a good percentage of this list probably is valid. Let's run this. So what's happening right now is we're testing every single username password, and I'm going to interrupt this. Now, obviously, quite a few username passwords were incorrect and unauthorized, but every now and then, if you see, there were matches in green representing an account takeover. To increase the sophistication, the hacker can distribute this across numerous IP addresses and machines, which allows him to get through firewalls and rate limiting checks. CyberFen blocks this. If you look at such an attack on CyberFen's dashboard, you will clearly see the distributed nature of the attack across the world, the IP addresses where it comes from, and so on. You can go further and look at the various attempts for the attack you will see, and I'm going to zoom in here, you will see the usernames being targeted, the IP addresses, the user agents, and the time frame. Now, uh, you can even go further into a particular user. So for example, this particular user was targeted by numerous IP addresses, all in the span of a couple of seconds. Now, dashboards are great, but dashboards don't mean a bit if hackers can get through. So this is where it gets interesting, and listen carefully. In the past couple of years, to improve web security and fraud, various security solutions have emerged. These solutions are all failing. The reason is, these solutions try to understand attack patterns and then block those attacks. But hackers keep changing their patterns. What I'm going to show you next is a much more sophisticated script, a script which can get through various security checks. This is a carding demo. It has nothing connected with API attacks. And it's a fraud demo. 
The script I'm going to show you has the following characteristics. First, it launches Chrome on a fresh new VM and machine, so it comes with a clean device fingerprint. Secondly, and even more interestingly, it uses machine learning to model human behavior, so it enters data in a human-like fashion, which allows it to get through all the behavioral checks. Let's run this. So as you can see, the script first brought up a clean Chrome instance. But more interestingly, if you look closely how the data is being entered, it's being entered slowly and methodologically like a, like a human being. And this allows it to get passed through various behavioral checks. Let's, let's watch as the script finishes. Cyberfriend blocks this. Now, uh, the demo message here is basically in red just for our demo purposes. In the real world, we'll just block the transaction. Cyberfin doesn't block this by looking at the attack pattern because attackers will keep evolving. Instead, we look deeply at the integrity of the interaction. This is very hard to do. Cyberfin's core team comes with years of experience in the interaction of complex hardware and software systems. The efficacy of our solution is the reason why in a short time span, we are already processing nearly a billion transactions every month. Now, that's a great start, but we clearly need to do a lot more. If you would like to join us to fundamentally improve web security, please come and talk to us. Thank you.